We are going to tell you about a disease called piebaldism and why it happens. This is an inherited human disease that is rare. You can't get this disease after birth. It is the type of disease that you have at birth. It can cause many different symptoms like deafness, digestive problems, and patches of dark and light skin and hair. Why are some people born with this disease? The reason is that when their bodies were developing inside their mother's body, certain cells of the body were not able to function properly. This is a story of what those cells normally do and what goes wrong in the cases of the piebaldism disease. Our bodies are made of millions of cells. There are many different kinds, like muscle cells, nerve cells, and skin cells. However, our bodies start life as a single cell called the zygote. That cell divides and divides and generates all the different cell types when the embryo is developing inside the mother's body. How do we go from a single cell to having muscles, bones, and a brain? Cells start their specific jobs through a process called differentiation. They do this by signaling or talking to each other about what they need to become. One way cells do this is by using what's called a receptor. A receptor is a protein on the surface of the cell that binds molecules sent out by nearby cells. This signal is relayed to the inside of the cell, setting off a chain of events that end up in the nucleus. The nucleus acts like the command center of the cell. Inside the nucleus of the cell are structures called chromosomes. These chromosomes contain genes. Genes are information molecules. They are like the instruction manual required to put together your body during development. The nucleus knows what genes to turn on and off by listening to the neighboring cells. This is where the receptor is important. Receptors are like a listening device in that they allow the cell and the nucleus to hear what the other cells are trying to say to them. Changes in what genes are turned on let the cell know what its job is going to be. One of the most important groups of cells are those in the neural crest. Using a complex system of cell signaling, cells in the outer layer of an embryo called the ectoderm start to bunch together and form the neural crest. These cells continue to talk to each other to become even more specialized, eventually turning many different cell types like melanocytes. Melanocytes are the pigmented cells of your skin and they in part determine the shade of your skin color and hair color depending on what genes are turned on or off in them during development. Neural crest cells have a receptor called KIT that helps direct how cells divide and grow. Mutations in this receptor, or gene, has been shown to cause a disease called piebaldism, where people lose hearing as well as losing coloring in their skin and hair. Since piebaldism is the result of a genetic mutation, which is a permanent change in one of the genes in the nucleus, it can be inherited or passed from parent to children. It is a dominant genetic disorder, so you only need one copy of the mutated gene to get the piebaldism disease. Each parent has two copies of this gene, but only passes one to their children. If the mom has one mutated copy and one normal copy, she will have piebaldism. If the dad has two normal copies, he does not have piebaldism. When they have a child, the child could get a mutated copy from mom and a normal copy from dad and the child would also have piebaldism. On the other hand, the child could get the normal copy from mom and a normal copy from dad and not have the disorder. It all depends on the random selection of one copy from each parent. The neural crest cells become many different cells around the body. During the development of the embryo inside the mother's body, the cells of the neural crest migrate from their starting positions to all the different sites around the body. They become pigmented cells in the skin and hair, blood cells, cells required for hearing structures inside the ears, and digestive system cells. When the kit gene is mutated, the pigment cells do not move to every part of the body. This results in patches of dark and light skin on the face, chest, stomach, arms, or legs. 
It can also cause white patches of hair. The most common for piebaldism is called a white forelock, where there is a white patch of hair at the forehead. Breaking the kit gene causes the same color patterns in mice and people, showing that it is very important for early development and movement of cells in other species. In some cases of piebaldism, the body does not produce enough blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen around the body through the circulatory system. When there are not enough blood cells to do this work, it causes another problem called anemia. There is not enough oxygen getting to the body's organs and muscles, so it causes people to feel really tired and weak. People with piebaldism sometimes have hearing problems because the neural crest cells also differentiate into cells used for hearing. When these cells are not produced properly, it can result in a range of hearing problems or deafness. The last group of cells impacted by a kit gene mutation are cells in the digestive system. Nerves in the digestive system control a process called peristalsis, which makes the muscles contract to move food through the different stages of the digestive tract. In piebaldism, these nerves do not function correctly. Peristalsis is slower or does not work at all, and food does not digest very easily. How cells interact with each other in early development is very important to the growth and development of the person. The cells tell each other how they should form and make sure that all of the cells work together to create different cell types. Simple problems in how the cells talk to each other before birth can lead to health effects after birth. Depending on what kind of problem the cells have can lead to many different disorders like piebaldism. Through studying these diseases, scientists and doctors hope to help people with piebaldism live healthier lives. Also, scientists can learn how the cells of the body normally work by studying what goes wrong in these cases when an individual inherits a disease-causing mutant gene.